Welcome back to WWE 2K24 Showcase Mode of the Immortals, WrestleMania 20. Latino Heat and your Olympic hero, Eddie versus Kurt. Let's freaking go. What is the deal? Here we go. Northern Lights Suplex in the ring. Grab left and square. Kurt Angle always looked to prove that his opponent had no business in the ring with him. He'd use basic mat wrestling sequences to feel his opponent out to see if he could make them uncomfortable. Eddie Guerrero knew that he had the technical skills to hang with Angle, and showing them off would be essential to his survival in the match. If Angle knew you were outmatched right away, he'd just play with you. Eddie being able to counter his way out of Angle's mat wrestling was his way of saying, I'm the champion for a reason and I'm just as good as you are. Nobody able to grab control, both back to their feet in a standoff. Angle looking a little surprised that Eddie was more than capable on the ground. One, two, a three. We lie, we cheat, we steal. And yes, WrestleMania 20 here in Madison Square Garden. Uh, powerbomb, caught him, caught him. One on the rebound. I hit there. Three on that rebound. Uh, all right, some good lucha things here from Eddie. There we go. Wrench the wrist. Head to the ropes. Lucha, lucha. Got that there. Big damage to Kurt Angle. It's true. It's damn true. And I gotta have a signature now, so I don't have that just yet. Gotta be there. So, three amigos is the sig. And up. Splash Mountain, if you will. Love that, but stamina here definitely not doing great. And hopefully this match, not as annoying as the pre as the previous match, which was just very frustrating with Stone Cold and The Rock. Watch out, little H. Nope, caught him. Nah, we need a signature. We need three amigos, S.A. That is the deal. And yes, I would... Love that this arena was in like the created stuff. I can actually mess around with, you know, what the um, stuff is. But we'll see if, if the actual. I wonder if unlocking it means that the parts will be in there. That's kind of where I'm curious on. There it is. And a one. Pop the hips. And. Yep. The reversals in this match were non stop. Kurt would find his way out of Eddie's Three Amigos. And Eddie returned the favor when he freed himself from Angle's grasp as he attempted the rolling German suplexes. Angle's attempts to show that Eddie wasn't in his league had not gone the way he'd hoped for to this point. The anger that led him to attack Eddie in the first place now had Angle looking for a German suplex from the apron onto the floor. Luckily, Eddie was able to free himself from the situation and open up more offense for himself. An opponent like Kurt Angle was so difficult for this very reason. He was so good, he'd force you to take big risks against him in hopes of gaining that ever so important control. And appeared Angle had set him up, moving out of the way the second that Eddie dove at him from the top rope. Eddie went chest first into the barricade, taking all the air out of him. All right, uh, snapmare and face scrape uh, in the grab in. Whoa, Kurt there with the chop block. Relax yourself. Relax yourself. Late, late, late. I'm not great. It's been a long day. Kurt with the punches in bunches. Please relax. Don't get me counted out here at WrestleMania. That's not super uncool on a Mania count out. No one wants that. You want a definitive ending here at the grandest stage of them all. Relax. Back in the ring. A too stupid. So, up grab. There we go. Cut scene. As Stop Angle broke. maintained his control, Eddie again grew desperate, looking for any chance to get Angle on the defensive. Perched on the top turnbuckle, Guerrero would fight back, sending Angle crashing to the mat. Looking to strike quickly, Eddie again went for broke, attempting his frog splash to a downed angle. Each time Eddie took a risk, it failed to pay off. 
Was Kurt baiting him to force the mistakes, or was Eddie just rushing the opportunity? Eddie would need to make adjustments if he was going to find the victory. Well then, dish out the damage, do a light combo. That's easy enough. Well, if I can actually get the thing to do it easy enough. Uh, square, square. Nope. Nope. The back and forth, folks. It is truly that damn good. All right, so a Hurricane Rana from a rear grab, which, where are you going, Kurt? Where, what the hell was that, Kurt? Nope. Okay, so pick you up and then hit right on the right stick, then grab, then up and square. That's a Hurricane Rana. There we go. Nice. Very nice. Uh, opponent taunts. Right on the deep. <laughs> Shake them shoulders. Got it. Done. Fantastic. And then stomp the mud hole and walk it dry. And one more move here. Should do the deal again with that Splash Mountain. Good times. Down. All right. So, three amigos with the signature store. I do have that. I'm pretty sure. Well, I'm, I'm close. There we go. Sig. Three amigos. One. Pop the hips. And a two. Pop the hips again. And three. Three. Okay. Heavy attack in the ring. Cutscene. Okay, Kurt. Straps down. Straps coming down. Now we're Eddie was attempting to rally. An angle needed to cut it off quickly. You know Kurt means business when the straps come down. He had Eddie right where he wanted him. Looking to end the match courtesy of his trademark ankle lock. Eddie hadn't taken much damage to his ankle at this point and was able to survive the painful predicament with a timely roll-up. So evenly matched, no one able to maintain a dominant position for long. Both men were unsure of their path to victory, but Angle was not going to let that throw him off his plan okay. as he took the champion e down e again e with e another e German e suplex. The grab, but also the frog splash finisher from the top rope. So first, DDT. Then he rolls out. Of course he did. Why wouldn't he roll out? Kurt, Kurt, Kurt. What are we going to do with the Olympic hero? With a broken freaking neck. Uh, here we go. So I got three of these, honestly. Sprog Splash! I don't have Sig, though, which is unfortunate. So that's a problem for me to do to Kurt without having that Sig store. With Kurt! Picks the leg. Oh, no. The ankle lock. Please don't tap me out, Kurt Angle! I would appreciate not having to do this whole match again if I could possibly help it. Uh, resiliency. Oh, and I wasted it. All right. Well, that sucks. I totally forgot. That wastes your entire meter I just built up for the past four minutes. Oh, come on, man. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. Now, if Kurt reverses this, I'm going to be so mad. I've been trying... For a while, I get back to up this signature, and if he reverses, I'm just gonna be like, bro. And he did. And he did. And he did. Because of course he did. Why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he? I do it all over again. Signature! Good lord. Half the video spent building that one signature for that one bit of three amigos. Okay, we got it though. So perhaps approaching the ending of the matchup. Okay, double arm breaker, uh, double arm breaker. So, face down on the mat, grab his head, circle, and then square. How do I flip him over? How do I get up, first of all? Flip you over, yes. Uh, circle, and then X. Got him. Eddie had fought so hard to get back into the match. Struggling to get Angle back to his feet, hoping to put the finishing touches on his challenger. In the blink of an eye, Angle had managed to trap Eddie back in the ankle lock. The exhaustion was obvious, but Eddie continued to fight. Could he make it to the ropes? Was he going to tap out? 
Eddie reached into his bag of tricks and was able to roll forward, sending Angle crashing to the floor. Despite freeing himself from the hold, Eddie still seemed to be in a bad predicament. His ankle looked to be severely damaged, keeping him from following up with any attacks. Looking scared, Eddie began to loosen his boot, hoping to alleviate any potential swelling. The look in Angle's eyes as he went back into the ring was like a lion chasing down its prey. With the ankle lock again applied, was there anything left in Eddie? The answer was yes, as Eddie would free himself from both his loose boot and the ankle lock itself. In the confusion, Kurt would run right into a small package attempt by Eddie. And the bell rang with Eddie Guerrero finally tricking Kurt Angle, keeping his status as WWE Champion intact. And there we go, one step ahead, Angle, Arena, and Eddie unlocked. And continuing the Kurt Angle train, WrestleMania 21 versus Shawn Michaels next time. I'm a tax log, thanks for watching, more videos right here. I'll see you then, and I'm out.